Hi, everyone. There, oh, you can see my teeth that are missing. Hi, better not talk too, too big. Hi, June from Welcome Witch Lane Designs. And I just came on about a minute early. Um, anyone who may be watching this video in the future, uh, please like and subscribe. I wanted to say that. I don't see anybody. Let me see if I can get up YouTube chat because um, the StreamYard chat is a little bit slower than YouTube chat. I'm here tonight to make a polymer clay mouse for a gothic crib that I made on my last live stream. I haven't done anything to it uh, since I last was on live. Um, as my friend Teresa would say, life has been going on around here. Good stuff, but a lot of things. Um, my daughter, I think, I don't even know when I went on last slide. My daughter graduated from college. We've been, then there was another little graduation. They call it some weird thing, conclave or whatever online. So I was busy watching that. So it doesn't show that anybody is here yet. So I'll just talk for a little bit longer. Hope everybody is doing okay. It's a beautiful day in New York. Uh, nice and cool and sunny. Um, yeah, I walk to work because I don't want uh, I don't live far from where I work, but maybe I should talk about what I'm planning on doing tonight. One of, well, there's two things. One of uh, the ladies who we've been together, and if you've been on my other lives, you'll notice that there's a few people that we talk a lot to. Well, it was her birthday today, and I figured, you know what would be nice is uh, a lot of times in the past we would go on live privately and have a little celebration um but we don't do that that much anymore because we're all sort of really busy but i figured maybe i would go online if she was around we could just all say happy birthday to her so that's pretty much it so i am going to be making a polymer clay mouse as i said Usually I needle felt my mouse, but because this thing, this one is going to be very tiny, I can't needle felt that small. I have needle felted small mouse, uh, small mice. Um, if you've seen my little mouse that's in my air balloon, it's in my Etsy shop. I really should put the link to my Etsy shop on the bottom of all my videos. I'll go back and do that later. I have. Um, needle felted, really tiny mice. But tonight I just decided that I will do it in polymer clay. Um, and we'll talk about that. But nobody seems to be here yet. I'm surprised. Usually we have some people. If you're here in chat, just say hi so I know that you're here. I don't have the YouTube link up. I only have the YouTube chat so I can't see who is who's here and who's not. But, all right, whatever. I can switch my cameras because I have to, I have to uh, adjust this camera that's up here because I just got it out of the way, but it's too far up. Hi, Sandy. Hi, how you doing? Glad you're here. How you doing, Sandy? Okay, let me see. I'm going to switch. I'm going to lose chat. I'm going to switch my camera. How do I do that again right here? Hold on. We'll be... Good. That's what we wanted to do. And now we have to get chat up again. Hey, Antonio. How are you? Hi. Welcome. Welcome to you both. You're good? Great. I hope the weather is as beautiful wherever you two are as it is here because it was a beautiful day in New York. Beautiful day. So, hey, Ashley. Hi, how you doing? Oh, I'm glad you're here too. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Yeah, I'm waiting for your mom to come on because we have to have doing good. Nice to see you on. Thank you, Antonio. Um, Ashley, your mom and I have to have a little talk about missing messages. Okay. All right. I'm going to pull this down a little bit. Hopefully, sorry, I was taking you guys for a little bit of a ride. Hoot. <laughs> Take, really, we gotta get, oh, it's hot, hot. Oh, not hoot, it's hot, hot, hot. 
I'm sorry. It's not. It's gorgeous in New York. We have, when we get gorgeous days here, they are unbelievably beautiful. I'm just pulling my hair up as I'm talking to you because it's aggravating me. Nice day here as well. Oh, we haven't gotten the cicadas yet, if I pronounce that right. I don't know. Now, Shirley, hi, sweetie. How are you, honey? Glad that you're here. I'm good. I'm, I'm good, except that I don't have teeth on the side of my mouth, so I, I'm noticing that I'm lisping a lot. But what the heck? We'll just have to do Now, why is this crooked? I'm sorry. It, it aggravates me. Huh? Okay. So, yeah, we have to have a little chat with Barbara when she gets here, Ashley's mom, because uh, I didn't hear from Barbara for a day, and I found out that she hurt herself, and we're going to have to talk about bubble wrap again, okay, because that woman needs to be bubble wrapped. All right, so in my last video, I made this, well, I had, I showed you how I made this crib. And the only thing that I did was, since I last saw you, was I took some of those waxes and I think I used um, brushed iron and just went gently, really gently over the whole thing. This is that little crown. Just so that you could see the details a little bit better because black on black, you aren't seeing anything. Now, I know that my ca my camera, the way I have it coming down is giving you a shadow across it. But there's the mattress. That's a little dirty. And you know what? I'm, I'm beginning to think that, um, whatchamacallit, the uh, StreamYard chat is faster than YouTube. So I'm just going to minimize this. And there's my birthday girl. Hi, Joanne. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, sweetheart. How are you? Did you enjoy what you were watching earlier? I hope so. You were watching some kind of a sale. So in the meantime, while she's typing, I used um, brushed iron just to give it a little bit of uh, detail. So you could see all the detail that was on there. I'm pulling it over here so we don't get in the um, shadow of my camera. Here's the mattress. The mattress fits in there nicely. And I also use some other ones. I think I use my uh, bronze. I don't have a lot of those cream waxes. I, uh, we call them vanilla smellers. Um, I don't have a lot of them. But the ones I did have, I tried to use. And then there was another color that I have. It, it, the brush dyeing is really the color that I use the most of. And then I put too much over here. So I went back with the, bla the black gesso. So it's back and forth. So, so how is Joanne? Did Joanne, are you having a nice day? I hope you're having a nice day, sweetie. Okay, so here is, there you are before we show the mouse. Hi, Barbara. How are you, sweetheart? We were just going over how we're going to get, we are definitely going to get you bubble wrap. Definitely going to get you bubble wrap, sweetie. Uh, you got me a little bit nervous yesterday, but you were in a lot of pain. Barbara had a little oopsie again, everybody. Everybody who knows, knows that we, uh, we're definitely going to wrap that woman in bu bubble wrap. I decided uh, that I'm going to remake this. I just don't like the way it's looking. It, it's funny over here. So uh, this was done on the live and it's not even, it's just aggravating me. So I'm going to have to make it again. It's okay, Barbara. It's okay. Worked in the yard, not stop YouTube lives. That's why, yeah, Joanne, you did tell me you were working in the garden <laughs> and you didn't look like those little old ladies with the straw hat either. Okay. Um, so this is going to be remade. But in the meantime, I started sculpting and I figured because I don't know, for some reason, I just can't get down here because there's so much or I just can't get to my craft desk. I get down here. I didn't get to crafting because I don't know why it's just not coming. Um, I guess because everything else. So I was playing around last night with trying to do a head for the baby. Let me see if you can get it. And this I'm sculpting out of polymer clay. And I am using 
cosclay to do it. Now, cosclay is this new polymer clay that they have out. You bake it pretty much at the same temperature as regular polymer clay, but it's flexible after it bakes. And I've done a few projects with this and I really like it because you don't have to worry about cracking as much as you do when you use um, regular polymer clay. Now I have, um, I had black and white and gray in the cosclay when I bought it because I think I bought it as a Kickstarter or something to that effect. I think now they have more of it out. Um, but I ran out of the gray, so I mixed the black and white to get gray. Now, you might be one, the mouse is going to be white. I am, I don't like working in white polymer clay. It just gets so dirty and it, I just, it aggravates me. So I'd rather work in clay, a gray clay or darker clay. And then once this is baked, I can paint it white. But the other thing that I was thinking of doing with this is I have white flocking. So once this is baked and I paint it white, I might, you know, try on the back. Oh, there's Shannon. Hi, Shannon. How you doing? Hi, sweetie. We already yelled at your mom for scaring me, just so you know. Um, once it's baked and I paint it white, I'm going to uh, use flock on the back part of it and see how it looks because this is a little baby. Now, uh, the reason again, I'm not using white clay is because it gets too dirty and it, the dirt in the clay distracts me. There are ways to get the dirt out, but you can use uh, the acetone after it bakes and go over the top of it because the acetone takes the little top filmy layer. I think I've told you this before, but I'll tell you anyway. Um, the acetone, not acetate, the acetone, acetone takes off the top layer of the polymer clay and it lets the acrylic paints that you might putting washes on stick better to the polymer clay. It makes it a little bit more porous and not such, such a slick surface. Um, so I am going to be painting this. Now I figured his head fits pretty much into this. I mean, it's a little bit bigger then I would want it to be, but you know what? That's okay. That's okay. So it's Joanne's birthday today. And let's see. Oh, some other things to talk about. And I'm not going to, I think I might be redoing the, yeah, I fussed. I'm sorry. I fussed at you. That's the right word. I fussed, fussed a little bit. Whenever you use polymer clay, uh, in an effort to keep it clean, you should always uh, clean your surface. Now, some people use ooh, the sur <laughs> surface is really bad because I paint on it. I'm just trying to get the dust off of it, though. Uh, some people use baby wipes. I'd rather use Bounty or paper. Oops, not naming um, a product. Use paper towels and some alcohol that I put in a little jar. I find that this is less wasteful. And okay, so we have <laughs> good Shannon, give your mother some poop. Um, we have this head, and I used two instead of making polymer clay eyes that I did on this one, one that's gonna go hanging out with it. I decided to use these beads I have that glow a little bit. So I figured that would be a nice effect since it's supposed to be a little demon baby. So, and I don't know if you can see the horns. I'll probably take these ears off. I just put these ears on because I like using, which is the next thing I'll talk to you about, this translucent polymer clay. Uh, I just needed it for placement to make sure that they it looked right because sometimes it's hard to sculpt a face and figure out if it's okay. You got to add the ears on to make sure that it's okay. Alrighty, so... As with all polymer clays, you have to knead it a little when you take it out. And I've already been doing that to this piece. And I think this is going to be a nice size body for him. Because we don't want him to get too big. And we're just checking the body. Yeah, that's pretty good. It'll probably get a little bit bigger when I add all the, oops, ah, come back here. 
I'll put you down. That'll be good. That's a good enough size body. It's not too big. So now that we have this, and I'm just, okay, here's my chunk of cosplay. I should have had it over here. Let me explain what this is. This was translucent polymer clay. I use Primo, and it really, hey, Benny. Can a demon baby ever look right, June? <laughs> I don't know, Joanne. I think, honestly, I think he's sort of cute. I really do. I like him. He's got a cute little face. Okay. So what? He has horns and glowing eyes. Oh, it's Teresa. I'm sorry, T. How you doing? Hi, T. You went on Benny's. Okay. How are you? I just spoke with you. Hope you hope you got to eat dinner. Now I usually use when I'm using uh going going screen. When I'm usually using regular polymer clay, I always use Primo. That's just a preference. Can't we make an angel? We did make an angel mouse. mouse. We um, needle felted one, T. It's got, did you see my gothic crib? I don't think you saw my gothic crib that I made. Let's get the pillow out. Did you see the gothic crib I made? I don't think I showed you this yet. So you got to put a little demon mouse in the thing. Yeah, Barbara has my angel. <laughs> All right, so getting back, this is translucent. This is this stuff. I knew Teresa was going to say that. This is uh, translucent. I buy it by the pound. The guy that I'm buying it from um, that I send away for it because I'm really running out here. I mean, a pound block is about this big. Thank you, Teresa. Um, thanks, T. He's uh, he's not getting a shipment of polymer clay, and I've had an order for almost over a month now, and he's still I'm still waiting for it. And he's saying that you know I don't know I haven't really gone to Michaels or any of the craft stores to see. Oh, Christine's here. Hold on, hi Christine. Hold on, Christine's here. Hey Christine, how are you? Hey, how you doing? All right. Good. I'm just going to go full screen on me. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. Christine, can you see everybody that we have in the house? I am getting on YouTube right as we speak. I forgot. Didn't you just send me this? <laughs> Christine, I sent it to you with telling you you better not fall asleep. <laughs> 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 Oh boy. Okay, so we were in this. I, I'm sorry. I keep getting distracted. Hi, Shannon. The translucent polymer clay, when it bakes, it's like a. Uh, you've seen it before. I've showed you how it looks on um on different pieces, and it was a happy accident. I felt like Bob Ross. I had gotten these pan pastels. I use these to cut to color. It's a chalk pastel, but it's very pigmented. It's got a lot of pigment in it. So you use just a touch. What I used to do was with the translucent polymer clay, once it was baked or even before it was baked, you would take a little of this and gently brush it and it would make this really pretty pink for the noses and the tails and things like that. I had made a mistake and um, I had all of this clay left and it's a little bit more pinker in real life because my lights are so yellow. It's not looking as pink as it really is. It almost looks like, you know, the same tone as my hand, but my hand looks yellow. So um, uh, it colors it colors this so that when it is baked, this is the color it comes out. The hands and the nose from this. So it's a really pretty color and it's more pinkish in real life than it's showing, but it's really pretty. And the pan pastel did this. Oh, Christine, where'd you go? I lost Christine. All right. Well, Christine was here and now she's gone and I don't know how I lost her. Okay. Well, maybe she'll try to come back on. Heck, it's the show. What can I say? Did I miss anybody? Since I was talking, oh, it's Barbara, Sandy, and okay, we got everybody here. So, where where was I? 
So now we're just going to put a little, there she is. She's coming back. Hold on. She's back. Where? I what swear. happened? Where? It's been so long. I forgot how to do this. <laughs> what you do? <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. All right. Because I, I was saying, all of a sudden, I'm saying, Christine, and then I looked, and you were gone. So, okay, so Christine's back. It's going to be one of those nights. Oh, my okay. God. All right. So, we're celebrating Joanne's birthday today, Christine. Happy birthday, Joe. Joe. She was gardening today and watching all sorts of YouTube videos. Okay. So now what, what I'm going to do, I know I'm going all over the place. I'm sorry, guys. I do that a lot. I'm not measuring mm -hmm. the clay. I can't tell you exactly. This, what I'm trying to get is two pieces. And what I'm going to be doing is making his legs to either side um, to uh, put his legs on here. And then I will be um, making the feet. And doing that with the feet, putting his feet on. But I'm trying, all I'm trying to do is to get two of the same size balls. And I'm usually okay with this, but it, that's when I'm not on live. When I'm on live, I am sure that I'm going to have a problem getting to the two. So, how's it been going, Christine? Is everything sort of quieting oh. down a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. Well, we didn't do much. I mean, he's going to be cremated. He's already there, probably not to the end of this week. And I mean, there's no obituary. There's no celebration of life, nothing. I asked his best friend. This is the saddest part. I asked his best friend, you want to do a Facebook thing? What's your favorite memory of being with Jesse? And he goes, the only people I know are the people we grew up with. And he ripped those people off, too. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. So. So there's, you know, nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Because okay. I do love him like a brother, though, and I said, "Well, I still love him like a son," but you know, he is his mother's son. Yep. And we won't go into his mom because no. no. So. No. Okay. Piece of work. Yep. Yes, that that was that was the nicest. That's true. Yeah. Mm hmm And that's fine. I have another word for it, but I don't usually say it. No, no, no. We don't. No. We don't and no. I don't say it. No. <laughs> I do too, but. <laughs> 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 Please, you know, I don't want to get. I think these are too big. Okay, I'll just keep playing. Again, I didn't. You know, I don't. This is. This is why sometimes I don't do lives because I don't have, you know how you go on and you watch everybody and they have all the pieces all measured out and everything is perfect and they take the little piece and they shove the little piece on the body and, and everything is good. That's, I don't work like that. I've never had. It's a try, you know, see, unless I'm following a recipe, like a step-by-step, -step, it's see what looks right. So it takes me a while to get it to look right. Not even then. Then you add your own spices and stuff to it yeah, to make yeah. it better. Well, so. it's never. Hey, Martha, how you doing? Hi. Hey, Martha. It's um. It's never. It's never like how they do it, where it's so easy and it's all you know. But they, you know what it was? They do, they have to pre-plan it, and I wasn't pre-planning it because. I think that people should see that it's not easy to get some of these things done. Everybody thinks, you know, they look at it and they say, oh, that's lovely. My six-year-old could do it. And I'm like, oh, my niece is doing art. I love, my favorite is my niece is working with Paula McClay. She's very good. And I'm like, okay. How old your niece? Six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all good. It's all, it's all good, right? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Sandy. Thank you. Well, some of my processes are mess up, like the pillow. Where'd the pillow go? I did this on the live. Let's get that. Everything is 
why I did it on live. I don't like it. I'm redoing it again, but at least you saw how I did it and I'll do it neither when I'm doing it without trying to do, you know, to do it live. That's why I did it the face off camera because there was, if you saw how it just, you know, add here, add there. I don't really have a, like the amounts of clay I use, it's sort of hit and miss. If it looks right, okay. If it doesn't look right, let's start again. So Ooh, it's red eyes. Oh, I know there's some kind of those beads that like, I don't know. I know there's a certain name Martha probably knows the name of it, that, that glow. So yeah. Those are crazy. Poop happens June. Oh yeah. <laughs> Poop. <laughs> <laughs> That's June's very favorite word, poo. Well, I'm not allowed <laughs> to say anything else, okay? So we have it's either that or shiitake mushrooms, but my mouth in real life, you know, is, you know, well, we try to clean it up when we speak to you people, but <laughs> hey, you know, my mom said that my sister's claim to fame is she knew how to curse well. That was the greatest compliment my mom gave her. <laughs> <laughs> I never cursed until I met my husband. He can <laughs> curse like a sailor. Oh, a we get along well. Okay. Oh, gosh. Well, we tr we can't on YouTube because it just doesn't sound right. And we can't in right. school because you're not allowed. You know, the kids, we have to say, when we say hell, we have to say H-E hockey sticks, double hockey sticks or something. And it's like... <laughs> That's right. That's we not. We use our our calculators to swap, swear. Remember, for <laughs> yes, three. <laughs> one, one. Oh boy. Oh, I didn't see Martha. I have to look at it. I got to look at that. And mine was worse. Okay, this one goes in the home oven, Ashley. <laughs> it was cracked. Believe me, I've had cracks too, even with polymer clay. But this one you can put in your oven at home. Double toothpicks, is that what it is? Oh gosh. Well. So I think this is looking good. So this is all just trial and error, guys. I'm just trying to smooth it out. I'm trying to get because now I'm gonna have to make his feet feeties to put in here and his little tail. I think I'll save the hands for the end. So Joanne, did you get um did you get a little birthday cake? Did you bake yourself a birthday cake? Or a birthday dinner? I <laughs> would still probably crack it. Oh, you know, yeah. Well, this cosplay is pretty good because um as long as you don't over bake it, it's it's flexible, thank goodness. So what did you have to eat? Did you have something special? Inquiring minds need to know. Are you still with me, Christelle? You went quiet. <laughs> oh, we lost you again. Uh, Christine? Christine, I can't hear you. If you can hear me, I can't hear you. But did you, wait a minute, do I got to add you? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> What the my phone's touchy and the exit button's right by where my fingers go. So I you know, I'm talking to you. I'm talking <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Christine's back. Wait. <laughs> oh boy. It's gonna be a night, Joanne. Oh got, my gosh. Got birthday flowers and candy, gave the candy to my sister. Oh, you don't like candy? I don't like I don't like flowers. I never did. I know I'm probably one of no, the, I like them outside. Oh, I have a garden that I'm going to take pictures of as soon as the roses start blooming in mass. So I'll take pictures. Mm -hmm. Jack has become a gardener. Oh my gosh! Jack has become. <laughs> Jack. Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. We got a lot of chat here, Martha. I don't okay. know who has food. I, I'm. <laughs> we're very confused here tonight. And she ate her usual peanuts and later oatmeal with blue. Ooh, that sounds delicious, Joanne. 
And Barbara had frozen. Oh, Billy did frozen pizza. Good for you. Well, I mean, he couldn't he go to Arby's or something? He fixed you. <laughs> if Billy's hearing me, he's probably going to start saying, what the heck is she saying that for? Okay. All right. All righty. So what were we saying? Are you still with me? Okay. Yeah, I'm here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I keep looking over. And at one well, point, you got to because I keep lo signal logging myself out. Well, then I saw that you were gray. Your little icon over here, your little screen thing that I had I yeah. was gray. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Does that mean she went off again? <laughs> Why is it chat thing? Okay. Confused is normal here, June. Yeah, it, ha it hasn't changed. Well, Martha, I, hold, I'll be right back to Jack. Hold on. I'm hoping that I get this done. And if I get this done, it'll give me the motivation to sit there and think about what I want to dress the uh, the evil mouse with. It's taking me a while to figure it out. So I, I still haven't figured it out. Then I just have to sit here and say, you know, it's time. So that was it. That's it. Christine, are, we, are you still here? Yes, you're still here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting, getting a little gun shy over here. You're still yeah. Here. Am I talking to myself again? Okay. Uh -huh. Well, what is Jack doing in the garden? We don't have a garden. He bought nine little pine trees that I want to get three or four foot tall and planted them helter skelter all over the yard. Well, no, not really. He lined them up. And then the second row that he planted, he planted four, and then the next five were in front of him, but between the other ones. Like, what is he planting? I don't know. He's planting all kinds of stuff, and he's just digging holes in the grass and plopping things in and it's like okay oh that would Alrighty. make that would make me very tense yeah <laughs> just letting you know <laughs> oh, oh yeah <laughs> and last night you know he's always like well what about this what you know he's always telling me what about this what about that and it's like whatever you want to do i'm fine with it right <laughs> so last night i went out there and he goes and he started getting upset because i'm going well why are you throwing that dirt? Because he'll dig a hole and he'll throw the dirt across the yard. And, Don't you need that to put? <laughs> Don't you need to put that back in the hole? <laughs> he was starting to get upset with me, and I'm like, I'm going back in the house because I can't take this. <laughs> what is he putting in the hole? Wait a second, I know Chad's going, but I need to know. Jack back in the hole. Where is he putting it? What is he doing? Just throwing the dirt. I bought a bag of topsoil, one little tiny bag of topsoil. I think it's like <laughs> five pounds, maybe, or something. I don't know. Uh -huh. And um, it's one of the smaller bags, and not a tiny, tiny bag, but you know. Oh. But wow. he bought three bags of mulch. <laughs> what, is mulch what are you going to do with that? We, you know, are you going to dig up the grass? Or what are you? Are you going to make a garden? Or what are you doing? I don't know. Then he's got he's uh, got hostas all over the place in between the trees, the little <laughs> bushes. Well, hostas? Well, they're good for yeah. Hold on. I'm coming back to chat. I see it's going. So just give me. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, Christine, wait. Okay. Hold on. I want to give to chat. Joey, I feel guilty that I'd rather grow flowers than food. I do have five tomato plants, different varieties. Joanne, I have, um, I'm not planting any vegetables. I used to plant tomatoes. I used to have a nice vegetable garden. I have three fig trees, blackberry bushes, blueberry bushes. I have mint, sage, and a few of the herbs, herbs, however you say it, herbs, I think. Am I right, Christine? Herbs? Herbs. I can't, you know, it's hard enough not to cook, and I mean, not to sleep when you don't have teeth. And um, I'm not doing any, any more tomato plants because I used to grow tomato plants. And the smell of it's I love fresh tomatoes, but the smell of a tomato plant after, like when it's really hot and you got to pull the plant out, I don't know, it just gets to me. Okay, so that's Joanne. Uh, Shannon said, Ash cooked and it was delicious. Homemade Salisbury steak, mashed potatoes, and green beans. Ooh, Ashley, look at you cooking the storm. And you didn't bring any to your mom? Well, your mom is in, it, she's in the bad girl seat. Do you know Barbara's in the bad girl seat? I didn't know if you knew that, Christine. No. No, yes. Barbara. Yeah. Yep. 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 She's in the bad girl. 
Um, Martha's raiding the fridge. And if it's not, if she's not back soon, the fridge swallowed her up. Uh, okay, I think I got it. We love the mint plants. <laughs> yes, go mojitos. I know. I haven't had a mojito tea in a long time. I got to make them this year. Because Megan was saying, you know, and I'm like, I don't know. We're going to make them with vodka. <laughs> We're going to make them with Tito's and call them Tito's. Instead of. Why don't I believe that, Barbara? What? Barbara, what? She said she didn't do nothing. Oh, pfft. Yeah. Uh huh. Barbara scared us. I have lots of mint. Oh, Joanne, I'm going to tell you how to make a delicious mojito then. If you like it. Do you drink? I don't know if you drink. Make tons. I'm going the quick way of making toes here. Okay, Bubbles, what did you do? Go ahead, Barbara. Go ahead and tell everybody that you felt. Oh, should I tell her? <laughs> go ahead. I'm saying for her to go. <laughs> I'm going to tell everybody. <laughs> oh, Joanne drinks wine. Oh, good, Joanne. Well, if you drink anything a little bit stronger than wine, sweetie, I have a great mojito or totito, I can't say it, recipe where you squeeze limes. You get one of those things, a muller, I think it's called. It's a muller, it's a mull, it's something. And you uh, cut the lime, wash all the limes really well. Slice them like really uh, like a quarter of an inch and you put them in a glass and you and you smash them with this thing. You kind of already did tell them. Yeah, naughty corner for bubble wrap or Barb Barbara hurt herself again. Barbara. Yep, go ahead. Yeah. Don't but, make me come down there. I swear. Well, don't <laughs> wait. You'll do something just so I have to come down there. Forget it. And meanwhile, <laughs> back at the farm, we're not going to talk about Christine because she, she might come. To, it might take her a while to get down. Because <laughs> she's her. Uh, I'm going to mute for a minute because I think Jack's home. Jack went to the grocery store to buy chicken. Oh, good. Okay, so we might not, we might not. It might take a while for her to get down there. I didn't do nothing, laugh out loud. Yeah, you didn't message me yesterday. That's what you didn't do, so you scared me. That's what you did. That's why you didn't yell that. Just for the record, just letting you know. Okay, so we were doing our mojitos or tojitos, whatever, with Tito's, but you could do it with rum. I'm going to try back this year. So you take limes, and you make a real mojito. Don't get that stuff out in the store. That doesn't yucky mucky. Mucky yucky, okay? And... You um, you get some limes and you you cut like about I think I usually put one lime in a glass, maybe a lime and a half if it's not juicy, and you smash them in the glass, and then you take some simple syrup, which is just half water, half sugar that you put you know you melt it down in the pot, and you put a however many like you take um, I have an ounce or an ounce and a half we call it the jigger the thing. So I put one big jigger of um, simple syrup in, each, in the drink, and then you put uh, one big jigger of whatever alcohol you're using. Oh, and as you're mashing the limes, I'm sorry, this is where the, the, the thing comes in. Before you ma you um, you put the limes in the cup and you take some fresh mint, like the baby, <laughs> whoa, hello, the baby leaves, and you put, <laughs> you put them in there and you mash them all together. So you have your lime juice, then you put your simple syrup, then you put your alcohol, and then you could top it off with a little ginger ale or something and shaved ice, the cracked ice or shaved ice. That's really delicious. And for summer, it's a, it's a different, it's a real nice dish. I mean, a real nice dish, a real nice drink. And Christine is saying to come on down. I mean, Barbara is saying, to, I don't know. Here we go. Barbara's saying to come down. I didn't drink, Joanne. I swear to you, I wasn't drinking. Barbara said to come on down, Christine. I think Christine is muted because the doggies are barking. He keeps barking. He'll let out a yelp once in a while. Okay. So Jack will be home in probably about five or ten minutes. So when he comes, pulls in the driveway, I have to mute. Okay. Well, we was nuts. We have to see pictures of your... Uh, You'll go, Jack's garden. Oh my God. 
I'm not I sure. just tell him it, it looks good. Uh. Yep, Ash, I'd make you one. I'd, they're, they're very refreshing. It's not a lot to drink, though, but it's very refreshing. So you have to take pictures of this so we can see your Helter Skelter garden. Oh, my God. Well, actually, it's in the front yard. Half of our yard is a hill. <laughs> Stop it. And, <laughs> and he wants to, I want to put something on the front, from the, <laughs> the top of the hill to the street where okay. he doesn't have to mow that <laughs> hill because it's pretty good. <laughs> Will you stop it? <laughs> he, ran, he ran past me and tucked his butt in. <laughs> oh, that's it. You're in trouble. Get him, Jim. Hit him. <laughs> okay, I got... There's nothing I can do over here. Uh, yep, Shannon, you can have one, too. I think... Did you mute? I think she muted. Okay. Poor pup. I'm not sure I like these hey, feet. Hey, Talise. Oh, Talise here. Is Telly here? Hi, Telly. Yeah. I can I just saw woof woof. I didn't even see. Hey, Telly. Because I'm looking. You know what? I'm going to put up YouTube chat again. Because the the um other chat doesn't. There we go. Hey, Telly. Hi, we're celebrating Barbara's birthday. Uh, not Barbara. I can't. I don't even know who the heck I'm talking about. Joanne. We're Joanne. celebrating Joanne's birthday. Christine is with me. Barbara's in the doghouse. Martha might have been swallowed by her fridge. Um, Ashley made a delicious dinner. Teresa's here. Hi, Tia from me. my friend Teresa. Um, let's see. And my dog is barking. And, and Christine's husband is planting things all over the garden. And uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. And, the door, and we're not quite sure of what's going on here, but that's okay because it is. All right. I'm trying to make a foot and I am not really happy with it. Okay. This is June figuring out she's not happy. Let's see. Because I think it might be a little too big. And I don't, Christine is going in and out. You know what? It's not the way. You don't like it. You don't like it? Don't do it. Here we go. I just popped a squash casserole in the oven. Ooh, okay. I took the toes off because it was bothering me. So I took the toes off and we're going to do it. Where the other foot go? Is this, there's the other foot. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the toes off of both of them because it was bothering me and I didn't like how it came out. And I don't know if it was too big. I don't mind putting big feet on this little baby because that sort of looks cute if their feeties are big. But it just didn't look right to me and my nose is leaking. Okay. Christina's on mute because of the doggies. Uh, I'm back for a minute. Oh, I'm back. Okay. All right. Now, that's a better side. his back, so he's being good for that right now. Who's like, what happens? Okay. So. We're trying to keep, we're trying to, I'm trying to put something on the hill so that he doesn't have to mow it. And, like, you know, spreaders, you know, like seed them and stuff like that. Well, he fell in love with somebody's yard that had hostas all over the place. And I'm like, oh, Lord. Lord. Okay. Hostas are pretty, though. Yeah, but we have a semi-sunny front yard, and they don't like sun. Oh, no. Yeah, no, no, no. So he's going to have to. Well, we did get the ones that like partial sun, partial shade. Okay. But, but <laughs> he, he went to water. I said, these plants need water. They're dead. I bought these little sedum things, and he, he he's like, "Are you sure they're dead?" I said, "The flowers, they're not there. Some there's some flowers, but the rest of it's all like dead." So he brings out this little watering can and <laughs> does a little oh, dribble on all the plants. Oh no! No, you're not. You have to soak them because yep. the water disperses into the ground, and you have to make sure, you know, and. Well, you can't just, it looked like, 
he was peeing on him. That's what it looked like. It's just a little bit of water coming out of there. And I'm like, you can't well, just do that. Did you say you planted sedum? Because sedum is nice, but it takes, doesn't it take a long time to multiply and fill in an area? The hostas, if they like it, they, they get big, but sedum takes a while, doesn't it? It's a slow spreader. Oh, I've got, um, yeah, but it'll be okay because this, these, I'm, we bought four of these big, bigger ones. Okay. And, um, they're trying to spread out of their pots right now because, you know, we bought them two weeks ago. God forbid we put them in the ground the same day we get them. Uh huh. God forbid doing that. Well, you know. I don't like juniper. Juniper is, I always, <laughs> it always sticks me like a needle. It always gets me. Hi, Martha. You're back. Hi, Good. Martha. Oh, my nose. The refrigerator let her out. Yeah, and I wasn't wasn't <laughs> sure. She said it might, but didn't need it. I eat her up. I'm gonna have to see if he wants to get some juniper, but he likes the. I don't know. I don't know. Well, that would work there. That would work there, and it would go with the house because the house is 19, 18, 20, 1921 built. Nineteen twenty one. Well, is it what? I mean, if you're looking for bushes, don't azaleas go both ways? Like have sun and shade? Mm hmm. I mean, they, the, they're pretty in the spring and then they're just green all day, all the time. I know. But then he, then he doesn't have to mow it because it's right. Keeps that's, it's down and stuff. That's basically what we want. We live on this. I'm sorry. No, um, Ashley said that she bought some dragon's blood sedum, whatever the heck that is. I've never seen that. I have to look that up. And it grow and it seems to spread. And Martha made rotisserie chicken tacos. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. That sounds delicious. That sounds good. Creeping flocks. Everybody's giving you ideas. I know. That's great, too. Oh, he's driving me crazy with it. I swear to God. I'll have to take a picture of it. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. No, no. no let's not cut the trees and weeds that are surrounding the house like a, like a castle, like Sleeping Beauty's castle. You know, we can't do that, but we have to plant other trees out in the middle of the yard. Well, you know, yeah. he, he needs a little direction, Christine. I think your first I'm trying. Mistake, well, your first mistake is do whatever you want. You can never tell a man. No offense. Antonio, no offense, sweetie. Uh, you can never tell a man do whatever you want <laughs> if you have ideas because that gets you into trouble. Well, I get into trouble no matter what, so it doesn't matter yeah. if I tell him or not. So It's true. That's true. You know, we're gonna be married twenty six <laughs> twenty six oh. years on the twenty fifth on the twenty seventh. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Day after tomorrow. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Where's your toy? Okay. We got a foot. <laughs> Mute. We got one foot. We think. It's a little big, but you know what, guys, we're gonna go with it. Cause they have, you know. They have big feet. And I'll probably be putting, I don't know why I'm going over this so much, but I'm probably going to be covering him with a blanket. So I don't know why I'm doing this. So, you know, I could, I could not even make feet, but because I like it to be real, even ah, when you don't see it, we're going to do this. Oops, I'm off camera. Christine, I'm off camera. <laughs> I'm here. I know, but you're supposed to tell me I'm off camera. June. You're off camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thanks, everybody, for the congrats. It's, I don't know how we've made it this long. <laughs> okay. My roses are taking over Fifi's front door. Hubby had to cut them back. Nice. 
I cut some roses back today. I know it's not the right time to do it, but the bush had gotten invasive. Yeah, roses, I try to uh, do it early in the year, um, but you can cut them back at, at any time, really, Joanne, because I, they just might not bloom as profusely, but I've cut them back in the middle of the year if something gets scraggly, you know? And I just fed them too. I, I use um, organic fertilizer. A holly tone product, but only for roses. I, I like that because I just put it down once. They say you should feed them like, you know, after the first bloom. I just put it down once in the spring and whatever because I use mulch and the mulch breaks down and that that's good fertilizer for them too. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much in scale. Ah, ah, come back. Where are you going? There you go. Okay, so now we have to make another foot. I have a garden full of weeds. I need something to smother You're them. You're out of screen. I'm out. He's <laughs> muting. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is going to be a night. Okay. I'm in screen now. Um, smother them. Okay. Well, there's a couple of things that you can do if you don't want to go to chemicals. You can, it's going to look ugly no matter what you do. You can put black plastic bags over them and keep them down, but that's going to take a while. Or I have a, a thing, uh, a weed killer, and I'll send you the recipe. It's using um, white vinegar, Dawn soap, and Epsom salt. Mix it together in a sprayer, and you spray them early in the morning, all the weeds. And it doesn't kill them as quickly as a commercial um, insecticide, whatever, weed killer, but it does kill them gradually. And they will, within a couple of days, be all brown, but you do have to do it more than once. I use that for the majority of my yard because I don't like, the only thing I'm going to have to, if I get the nuts edge again, I'm going to have to get real mean with the nuts edge and, and use the uh, nuts edge killer. But I almost had to go on the black market for it. It was like so hard to get it. They wouldn't send it to my house. It was it was just a real pain to get the nut, the real nuts edge killer from, I don't know what company. But um, that I'm going to have to spray because usually I try to pull it out, but the nuts edge was killing me. It was taking over all the grass in my front yard and I just can't stand it. How am I doing this? I'm supposed to do it on this side. Okay, sorry. Try to get the right and the left straightened out. But most of the time, I just use that concoction of the white vinegar because it's um, not harmful to the ground. And I don't really like spraying chemicals in my yard if I don't have to. And hold on. Safer to use, okay, and that is what Billy makes. It. Oh, he does? Okay, Barbara, so then you know the combination. My son, are doing well in pot. Victoria loves those too. Yeah, is Victoria, you know, I wish Victoria would, um, we'd hear from Victoria and she would come in. She, her um, mom passed away a couple of months ago and her dad was sick. And I just wish that she would come in just to say hi. But, you know, whatever she feels up to whatever she feels up to. They're home, so he quit barking. The what? They're in the house. Oh, yeah? Okay. I guess we're getting Burger King instead. Oh, that sounds good. Burger King sounds nice. Hey, Russell, how you doing? What? Are you talking to me or to Jack? Oh, Russell, actually. Russell, we take, he takes Russell with him wherever he goes. Oh, good. Yeah. So Russell then gets... I get, then I get five minutes. Yeah. Oh. That's all right. Do you want to go You want to go for five minutes just so you can have a few? No, 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 no. Okay. No, no, I'm good. All right, because... You could just leave yourself on and mute yourself and then run around the house screaming, yay, 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 if you want. <laughs> <laughs> or, you, or you could do it. <laughs> you can I'll switch the screen over to you and you could do the same thing. And we could all watch you saying, yay, yay, yay. Uh, oh, my goodness. No, that's all right. Uh, 
so did you get up to your uh, to your room to sew? It's the attic, right? Did you get up to the attic to sew? No, but I need to. I have a new great great niece um, uh -huh. on Jack's side. His great niece had had a baby girl. Um, okay. Her name is Sophia McKenzie. That's a combination of names. Yeah. She's gorgeous, and I'm not allowed to tell anybody in the family that she's had that baby because her grandma is very controlling. She's a sister-in-law I always have trouble with, her, her grandma. Wait a minute. So nobody knew she was pregnant? Um, they haven't talked to, even though she is a hoback, they're, you know, her mom is remarried to someone else, and you know, it's just there's a big feud and stuff going on. So I have to stay out of it because I've been dragged into the middle of it before. Yeah. And I don't like being in the middle of it between now. So See, everybody's saying you should do a five minute victory dance. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I went to the bathroom and left the door open. Does that count? <laughs> thank goodness you were. You don't. Thank goodness I didn't have the screen on you. Okay, <laughs> that would have been interesting. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, Joanne. I don't know. Wait, if I ever get the house to myself. Wait a minute, Telly. Telly's dancing naked. Telly. I know. Put your clothes on, Telly. <laughs> what is happening? Joanne, this is all your fault. It's your birthday. And we're not even drinking. And that's <laughs> why aren't we drinking? Well, I'm having water. What do you have? I am too. Okay. Say hi to everybody. Bye, everybody. Hi, Jack. Oh, was that? Yeah. Is Russell there? Yeah, hi, bye. Russell. Hi, I Russell. Want to talk to the water, get Cool. I can't. And I can't. That's an echo. And you have a no water? Oh, that's it. I'm that's sorry. Oh. I don't know. There's an echo <laughs> going on here. I don't know what anybody's saying, but everybody. That's good. <laughs> uh, okay. Jack we have to find us impossible offers. I can't understand what you're saying. <laughs> What's going on here? We have water and coffee. I'm never alone. There's someone here. That's well. <clears throat> I don't want to scare my house by running around naked. So yeah, I think all the walls would be like, ah, what is she doing? Okay. So I think okay, you know what's happening. I think I like these feet. Feet, feet, clear up. I'm not sure. We'll look at them for a while. Victoria's here. Vic's here? Where's Vic? Hi, Vic. Hi, sweetheart. How you doing? How are you, honey? Okay. So now we have... We're celebrating, Vic, we're celebrating Joanne's birthday, but we all have water or coffee, although you wouldn't think it. From what's been going on so far. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna go through this again. Barbara's a bad girl. Um, Barbara's gonna kill me after all of this. It's Joanne's birthday, and she gardened and was watching YouTube videos all day, so she celebrated it nice. Uh, Martha got um, her refrigerator ate her, but then she but then she got out of it. Um, Shannon and Ashley, Barbara's daughters, are here. Antonio may or may not still be here. Um, let's see, Sandy was here, and Shir Shirley's here. There she is. Hey, Shirley. And Christine is here, but sometimes she leaves. <laughs> we don't know that she's gone, and sometimes she mutes. I think I got it. Sometimes I leave because I hit the button by accident. You're trying to get through each day. I know, honey. I know. Aww, just we're hugging you. We're just glad to see you again because you haven't been here for a while. 
And I, I still, I got to tell you, Vic, I still go back to that. There are times when you just get a little sad. And if I need a good laugh, I still go back to that video. I know I've said it before, but it's on uh, Rustic Ink Angel. It's the Christmas cloche video. It's the last hour when you were fighting in the greenhouse and everything that you wrote came out wrong. And if I need a good laugh, I will sit there and watch the last hour of that video. And no matter what, I always end up laughing. So I'm just giving some fur texture. I don't know. And again, I don't even know why I'm doing that because if I paint it and flock it afterwards, um, it's not going to need this, but it's just, um, habit to, to do this. So that's what I'm doing. And again, this whole part might be under the covers anyway, so nobody's going to see this, but you know what? You just do what you normally do because it's got to look real to me. So it feels real. There's been a lot of hellos. Glad you're here. Okay, good. I didn't miss anything. Okay. Now I'm thinking that I'm going to bake these separately. It might be easier. And then once they're baked, I'm going to attach them because I don't really feel like mushing up the head because I sort of like the head. Uh, and then I'll just put a hole here and put a wire between. And then when they come out, like when they come out of the oven, I can use more polymer clay. Uh, put what, okay. What I should say is, and I think I talked to you about this. You use liquid when you have two big pieces of clay and you want them, um, to mesh, uh, you can glue them, but then you're going to have to put more polymer clay around the seam. So it looks natural. What you do on the baked clay is you put, I put it in my liquid polymer clay in here. You dab a little bit. You dab a little bit around the cooked clay, and then you can put uh, raw clay on top of it. And for some reason, that works when it um, bakes. You can also glue these together with CA glue. I learned to use that word the last time, CA glue, uh, you know, which is that, you know, which one that kind of glue is. And so I don't say the brand name. And um, you can even put that in the oven, and the oven won't explode. I've done that a few times, just so you know. <laughs> hi, hi Kathleen. Kathleen, hi Kathleen. How are you? Thank you. Thanks, Telly. I mean, I don't know if they're accurate and one is bigger than the other one, so that you know that's going to draw one. This one is bigger than the other one. And that'll probably drive me a little crazy, but once they're baked, I can add some more clay to them, so clay to it so it looks more even which would be easier to do than to try to do that now. Everybody's saying hello. Why can't you be, you know why? Because I have to, I have to, now this is not baked. So I have to attach it. And when I attach it, I have to smush it together and I don't want to ruin the shape of my head. So, oh, uh, Christine is with me, Victoria. I don't want to ruin the shape of my head because I happen to like how the head came out. Plus, um, once I bake it, I'm also going to be putting like uh, I, 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 what do you call the eyelids around that on the top and on the bottom. So again, eh, again, I don't want to ruin my little my little face here. I sort of like his face, so for so I don't smush anything up. I'm going to do it that way. It's safer, and if I don't like this. Because you know that on lives, a lot of times I'll do something and then I'll redo it um, when I'm not live. If I look at this and I don't like it, I don't have to do any kind of surgery of removing his head from his body. So it's just, um, it's just because I'm going to have to bake it again. Well, anyway. So it's just a little bit safer for me to do it this separately. And you, you would never know once it's done that I did it that way because um, of the way I'm going to handle the seam. So. Now, there's lots of different ways. Like, you could use, I'm just using this tool. Um, it's a little bit of a rounded edge to make um, fur. 
you can use well he's on my other dotting tool you could use i have this which is basically just a basically a long pin um or needle on you know stuck in wood i could use that but again like i said i'm going to be painting him and maybe flocking him so all of this you won't see but what the heck we're going to do it anyway and this looks crooked straighten him out a little okay Yeah, Kathleen, I, I end up redoing things a lot of the time. Um, not, not as much as I used to because I'm sort of learning, I guess, because when you get a little bit more skilled, at the beginning, I used to redo things an awful lot. There's those mermaids that I made um, that I redid them so many times to get them right. But now, like, you sort of, I sort of learned a lot of, like, how to, um, it's all, like, uh, weighting things, trying to get things weighted the right way, and, and this, whatever. But, uh like this pillow, okay? This pillow I made on the live, I really don't like it. I'm going to make it again. It's sloppy. The glue is showing. The thing, is, this is not even. It's it's curling up. So, like, stuff like this I'll make again because I don't usually make pillows. So, that kind of stuff. But I used to make, I mean, I used to be doing everything two or three times. It, it gets, it gets, um, I don't know. Sometimes it's okay because you're striving for perfection, but sometimes it's just like, oh, am I ever going to get this the way I want it to? Okay, so we could leave this for a little bit because we're going to start the tail, which is easy. Uh, wait a minute, I'm missing stuff. She loves flowers. Oh, flock. Okay. Sorry, Shannon. I'll get you in a second. I didn't think about squishing his head. Uh, that sounds wonderful. Okay. All right. Dad is doing good. That's wonderful, Victoria. I Because the last time you had mentioned dad wasn't so good. So I'm really glad that he's better. Okay. Um, flocking is, what is flocking? Christine, could you, what is flocking? How do you? Um, you it's like fake fur, isn't it? Type it's, thing. it's like what a fake fur yeah that? it's like yeah it's um like when you put the fake snow on the trees at christmas time that's right that's blocking uh, yeah it, it's like little uh little time mine the one i have is like very it's not very long flocking. I think you could get longer flocking, but my it just makes it look furry. You know how like on Christmas cards, all of a sudden like Santa's boot uh, would be red and it feels almost like vel like a little velvety or fabricy. That's flocking. Yeah. Okay, so she took apart her Native American goddess nexus. Oh, good. Excellent that you redid it. Now you have a lot of people. Excellent. Hi, Cynthia. How are you? Hey, Cynthia. Welcome to the <laughs> welcome to the lunatic asylum right now. Oh gosh, that's a big, that's a thick tail. Usually what I do with the tails is they are wired. There is a wire that's running through here. And that's because it's, it's of course, much larger. And the tail is used to balance. It's like <clears throat> to balance the mouse when I'm, I'm making a big one and I'm needle felting it. Can you see that? Um, it's, it's like a three points, a uh, triangle balance. But this tail is not being used for anything except for decoration. So, well, because he needs to have a tail. We're going to go a little thinner. Now, when I bake this guy, I am going to bake him on a tile. 
I think I've told you all of this before, but if there's anybody new who comes in to watch and they're still watching at this point, um, <laughs> not sure they're going to still be watching. Um, um. You, I'm baking one on, on a tile, but I'm going to support him with, uh, so that like underneath him, I'm going to take a, a bounty. <laughs> a bounty and um i'm going to wet the bounty and sort of cradle him in the wet bounty and bake him like that his head i'm going to figure out how i can put this in my oven standing up i think i have a way to do that so that uh he doesn't move usually what i would do is i would take him off this and maybe i could do that and cradle his head the same way but i'm not too sure I'll see. I'll figure that out. And so Martin says it's a boy, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Victoria got a package from Martha and it brightened her evening. Oh, that's so sweet. Good. That's nice. Okay. I think she was pertaining to the tail. Oh, I don't know. There we go. There we are at. So there's the tail. Now I just have to do the arms and the fingers. <laughs> okay. That ought to be fun. That's cute like that. The tail? Yeah. It's going to be good. But the best part about this is that I am making a cover. So <laughs> So this will never be seen, ever. It will never be seen. So <laughs> the only time it will ever be seen is on this video. So I will I will put the link in the Etsy shop and say, if you want to see what his body looks like, come. <laughs> you're going to have to look at the, at the YouTube video. Oh, boy. Well, maybe I'm going to make a lacy blanket for him. There you go. Hey, oh, by the way, that moose is <laughs> it's about Vic. You can check the spelling, sweetie. <laughs> no, we're not starting that again. <laughs> it's not a moose. Oh, <laughs> Vic, don't make me laugh. Um, Telly, if she is still here, I don't know what I'm doing. Telly, um, did you finish your gothic necklace? Mouse. <laughs> it's okay, Vic. I just wanted to make sure we were staying. Oh, okay, T. I'm so glad. What am I doing? Ah, we're, we're, we're throwing the little guy around. Okay. Christine, oh, I just keep checking. To, you know, you give <laughs> I'm, I'm here. here. Ow, you know, my mouth hurts because of the teeth. That thing didn't heal yet. I, I'm getting a nervous tick. I keep looking over to see if you went gray. So I have to add you back to the It story. happened twice, okay? That's less than what I did before. Oh, come on. That was three times at least. <laughs> so don't be giving me, and I'm shaking. I'm shaking the thing. Sorry. Um, yeah, I just hit the camera with my head because my head is big. Oh boy. Okay. Is that crazy hair? No, I, I got it pulled up today. And I don't even I'm oh. not even, I'm not even wearing the hat. Oh no. I'm not I'm hatless. Okay. How are we doing? I don't like them. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Don't go on there. Just you <laughs> hang out there. <laughs> Jack said without the hat, nobody's gonna recognize you. I know nobody's going to recognize me without the hat. They're asking me to, uh, I have a leave me alone hat. And on Friday in school, we can uh, wear a hat if you pitch in for a dollar for something. I don't know. It's some fundraiser. And everybody wants me to wear my leave me alone hat. They think I wouldn't wear it in school. You need a not today hat. <laughs> I, I need it. I need a hat that says 
get the away from me, but you know, he can't wear that either. <laughs> Do you got my, I got um, my niece, uh, not, not today, not today, not t shirt today? or cup. I don't know, but she loved it. Yep. Oh, Barbara's got a okay. It's whipping my booty. Oh, it's hold on. Oh, the, the gothic necklace is whipping your booty. Okay. And Barbara's going to take some meds and tuck Kanani in. Okay, good. All right. So get the baby into bed. Okay. Don't forget to give her her glass of water. <clears throat> the red why, cup. Why is it, why, Telly, why is it, why is it so hard? What, what's wrong? What's the matter with it? I mean, what? Eh. English, right? We're speaking English and not gibberish. What about it is making it so hard for you? That's what I was trying to say. Now I said it in somewhat English. See, like if you watch people like Ace of Ace of Clay with the polymer clay, he's like he knows everything that he's doing, all the right. But you know what? I think they video edit. That's what I think they do. They probably do. They do. They got. They got to. They have to. Not you know. It, it, it's not. And because they know how to video edit, which my daughter tried to teach me, and I have to tell you. Poof, Right over the head, right over the head, and I wish she, I wish I could learn it because I would do more videos. You know, it's just yeah. tedious. It's me, I'm blind. It's just tedious. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't even stay on the channel because on my cell phone. I'm sorry. Would you say I, I can't even stay on with my cell phone? Like, let alone edit anything. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. But, um, oh, wow, I've been on for over an hour already. Look at that. Time is flying when we're having fun. Um, it's almost 8 o'clock. I know. I started to feel, you know, I started to get that pumpkin feeling because, you know, I, I, know. I turn into a pumpkin at 9 o'clock. I'm surprised you haven't started slurring yet. I'm being tired. <laughs> no, well, <laughs> I'm with, I'm, wait, because I, I'm lisping now. I, you know, really, it's like I can't. I just can't. <laughs> Are you okay? What? <laughs> I'm lisping. Oh, thank you, Martha. Thumbs up, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do whatever you want. Really, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It would be nice to get a thumbs up. Oh, oh, I wanted to tell you, I wanted to tell everybody this. Oh, I'm going to, can, can I just, I, I wasn't planning on mentioning this, but I have this really cool idea. Hold on. Stay right here. Don't move. Ouchie. Oh, gosh. Getting up. Okay. Now where the heck did she go? Me, I just walked. You know, I get this is an un, unintentional, unintentional. I I didn't forget something because I wasn't even going to plan. But you squirrel so easy. Me, yeah, I know. It's really <laughs> bad. It's <laughs> it's really bad. It's you getting, love Intelli's closet. Thank you, Vic. Thank you for thumbing me. Okay. But you didn't have to, really serious. I was only playing. Okay. You see these things? This is what I'm going to make for my Halloween table this year. And I saw it on Etsy or Pinterest or someplace. I don't remember. But they made, um, well, let me go back. Let me explain the whole thing. I watched Christine McConnell. I've told you that, the uh, something I forgot what the full title of it because I'm old and I got dementia. And I just watched I watch her. I watch okay. her. Um, the Strange. What she is makes, it? She's got that Victorian house she's redoing. Right, right. 
Okay. Are you, are you a Patreon of hers too? No, I just watch. Okay. I, I just subscribe. Okay. Um, so she does a lot of videos as a Patreon, and I am a Patreon, and it only costs me, what, $3 a month, and that's fine because I absolutely love her. But she had made, um, she set her table up in her new old Victorian house in upstate New York, and she used Cobra um, for Cobra little candlesticks all over the place. And, um, and then she also put pink elephants on the table, and I'm not sure I understand why she did the pink elephants because I really little tchotchke things i don't like that but it goes with her decor that she put up there mm -hmm. so i decided that i needed little candlesticks for my house too because i have regular candlesticks and especially for halloween so i was looking online and i don't know how i got to this but a raven's claw <clears throat> people used a raven's i guess a real raven or a real bird of praise claw and it um goes up into a candle now i'm not going to I'm not using a real raven's foot because there's no way I'm going to do that. But I figured that I could make using polymer clay and wire and even maybe some of those, um, what are those feathers? Ostrich feathers that I use for the raven that's up there right above my head, which you can't see. Um, and so I'm going to somehow connect a piece of wire if I drill a hole in there and, and put it in the bottom and put it down and then put a claw <clears throat> and I'm going to sculpt the claw um, so that I can have little candlestick holders little for a raven on my Halloween table. I think that would look really pretty. And then I thought if it comes out okay, may, you know, because I usually like to do a giveaway. I'm not sure. I have to see. So these are um, for Hanukkah. They, these are uh, liners for Hanukkah. I found them on Amazon because I didn't want to do big candles because I don't want the claw to look off, you know. Um, right. It wouldn't look right. It would look like an eagle at that point. So <laughs> these are Hanukkah. <laughs> I'm trying to do a raven. These are Hanukkah cups, and you can get the chime candles, you know, the one, the candles that you do for the chime, and the thing goes ding, ding, ding when you light them, the four little candles. You know what I mean, the chime candles. Uh -huh. So these would fit the chime candles. So I thought that that would be a really, um, really cool thing to do if I can get it done. So I have these. So I was just, I don't know how that came up, but that's it. Thank you, Martha. Good. Okay. That does sound cool. So that might be, if I get it and I like it, I'll probably do two for me or three for me. And then I might do an extra and do it as a giveaway for Halloween this year. We'll see. We shall see. And if it's too hard, then we'll figure out something else that we can give, give away for Halloween. Because I usually do a, a Halloween giveaway around that time. So. I can't wait to watch that. Yeah, I'll do it. That one I'll do live because I don't think if I get one done, I don't think it would be hard to do another one. It's just trying to get the wire balance. The, <clears throat> Ashley okay. says she needs it to go with her picture frame. Oh, yes. Okay. You'll be a guess. I need it to go. That would look cute. very nice with that picture frame. That would. Okay, now I got to do hands. <laughs> that ought to be fun. This will be fun doing this live. I can't can't go any smaller than this, guys. Okay. Now I think, if I remember correctly, that mice have four fingers on one side and five on the other, and I think the four are in the back. You love. <laughs> Victoria's with my mooses again. <laughs> I love her. I'm glad you're back with us, Vic. I'm glad you came back. Okay. Oh, you're still there. Okay. Had a look. So I got to make these like really little tiny hands. And if I accomplish this on a live, I think I should... Give myself a very big pat on the back because this is not going to be easy. No. 
I love his feet, though. Yeah, I think they're, well, they're, they're I'm going to, once I bake them, I can, you could always add, like I said, uh, I'd have to soften the clay, but they're not, this one's a little wider. Yeah, we got to make him up the same. So's my feet. <laughs> <laughs> can't so wait a minute we we were talking about um what were we talking about so did you get up to sell no what no too much to do and it gets overwhelming yeah i know i got the the, the baby girls izzy and riley's blankets to finish up and i, I started um miss sophia's Actually, that's about. They're both in the same stages. And then, I'm, um, my nephew's wife's birthday is not this weekend, but next weekend, or the, yeah, the next weekend. But I'm gonna try to finish up that one quilt that I started for. So, my girlfriend's brother wants bowl cozies, and I've got all those started. So I've got a lot of things on my plate that I haven't been able to do. Because of my you, back. Yeah. Now, when you were talking about it, what part of your back? Were lower you, back. The lower back? Okay, you were giving me numbers like I knew what you were talking like, about. Okay, L means lumbar. So uh -huh. six and seven are the last lumbar. Then you get into the um, um, S's, and I can't think of what the word is for S. It's the lower spine. Like uh -huh. you have the cervical, which is C1, 2, 3, 4. And mine is the L4 and L4. L5. Yeah, yours was L4 and L5, but I didn't. Yeah. I was going to look at a spine picture and and find out what the numbers were. But mm -hmm. um, I figured I'd ask you. It was easier. So it's your it's, lower back. So it's between your waist and your and your bottom, right? Yeah. You're talking about? Okay. Yeah. So. You know, if they can't improve it with whatever, then I'll have to get the surgery. I'm not so sure I want the surgery because it looks torturous. No, you don't want. I don't. I don't know that surgery on a um a back is sort of scary, right? Well, I'm going to a neurosurgeon, not an orthopedic. No, I know. So, so, so if somebody is going to be messing around my back, I want somebody that knows their way around the nerves. Yep. Especially yep. my neck. Yeah. I don't want, you know, there's no slip ups there. Yeah, no. You know where everything goes. I just go to a really good one because that's, you know, that's scary as all heck. So this guy seems serious about what he does. So, you know, that's, um, I look at their, um, kind of like, do they enjoy what they're doing? Yep. Yeah. No. And he seems to like what he's doing, but he's telling me this is major surgery. He goes, this is, this is, um, how did he put it? Serious stuff here. So, you know, basically, I don't think he really wants to do surgery unless he really has to. So. Yeah, that's, yes. Yes, it is. Back surgery is. Well, you know um, how I found the surgeon for my son? My son had a growth on the back of his leg that was right on the bone. And the guy, and it was starting to like, you could see it under his skin. Mm -hmm. Okay, Joanne's asking you if uh, a firm mattress helps you back. No, no, not at all. Okay. I sleep on a memory foam. That's the only, that's otherwise I'm in so much pain I can't move. Now, my sister-in-law, she has to sleep on a firm mattress. Otherwise, she can't move. So, I don't know. I can't. I cannot sleep on a firm mattress. Never could. I love my memory foam. So, what I did with my son, because I wanted to be able to drive, and I didn't want to have to go into Manhattan because I was nervous about it. Mm -hmm. Um because I, not because of anything, but I couldn't get them home because I don't drive into Manhattan. Uh, so what I did was I went online and I started looking at these surgeons and the surgeon that I picked for him, 
was not in a teaching hospital, happened to be in St. Catherine, the, a hospital that's local to me, but it used to um, have a sort of like not the greatest reputation. So I was a little leery, but the reason why I picked the surgeon there, and then I heard that they're um, in an outpatient, their one day thing uh, is yeah. really very good as compared to just the hospital itself. And of course, you know, they're trying to redo their hospital so that they're better. Was the reason why I picked his surgeon was um, he was constantly getting certified. Like he got his whatever his whatever certification he needed to do surgeries, like I don't mm -hmm. know, 10, 15 years ago. But you could see that he was constantly going to school or whatever to get yeah. certified all the time. And that showed me that he really liked what he was doing and interested to keep it going. So I picked him and I have to say that like um, he was really very wonderful. And thank goodness, because where this growth was, was bigger. Uh, it was like a cauliflower thing. That's what he was describing it to me. Um, it was bigger than he thought it was. And they were very concerned because of the nerve that this this cauliflower thing was growing right by the nerve that would make, you know, could actually make Eddie not be able to walk with that leg or make him lame. Mm -hmm. And that was worrying me a lot, you know, because, I mean, He's like, he was, what, how old was he? 18 when he got the operation or six, 15. I don't know. He was younger. Um, and it's a nice scar. And he says that, uh, that it's still sort of numb around the scar, but he can walk because they were going to have to put him in like a brace or something. If, it, if he got nerve damage and um, that was really scary for me, you know? Yeah. It was also really scary for me because, of course, you know, you, you, I had to make that decision by myself. I mean, Eddie, you know, Eddie agreed to it because he said it was bothering him too much. Because when he was doing jujitsu at the time, it really bugged him, and it would hurt. Um, but again, you know, when you're making decisions, which way would the thumb be? I put the thumb up. Um, wait a minute. Now, now I'm getting confused. Okay, the thumb has to go over here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to make that decision, you know, the decision, I don't know, does it just had to make a decision by myself because Eddie, his dad had already passed when that yeah. happened. And, you know, ultimately, even though he wanted the surgery, it would, I would feel horrible if I made the wrong choice and made my son lame, you know? But thankfully, everything came out okay. Uh, it was wonderful. You know, they didn't rush him out of surgery. They didn't rush him out of the um, recovery room. And he was all doped up. So everything was good. Yeah. But I can understand. And I know that back surgery, getting back to you, I know back surgery is very serious. So you just have to make sure that whoever you pick as your surgeon you feel confident, you know? I mean, accidents occur. I mean, bad things happen mm -hmm. no matter yeah. what, but you just have to hope. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. There's a lot. Well, um, I'm like They're talking about my business. Okay, I like something that I don't sink into. I need in between. I think it's, uh, I don't want to sink in either. I hate when I sink into it, especially I feel like I have to fight to roll over. That's true. Very true, Ashley. Um, I'm indexing my tax refund into a mattress. I want to make the right choice. Oh, Joanne, that's a tough one. That's yeah. a tough one because it's a personal opinion, you know, on how you feel. Um, maybe go with I got a, Go ahead. I got a pillow top. Um, actually, it's double pillow top so I could flip it over. And that was great for a long, long time. But now I have it wore out. But on top of it, I have my two inch memory foam or four inch memory foam, which I don't tend to sink into it too much unless the dog has been laying on it before I get in there. <laughs> then there's like a gully. But um, if you get something firm underneath, it'll help the, from sinking in. But that's the only, I can't sleep on anything hard, nothing, even medium. 
heart. I mean, yeah. Um, I just wanted to say Sandy had surgery on her neck and it took her surgery and six months to decide to do it. So I'm trying to make mm. sure I'm not missing anything in chat. I think I think I like a mixture. I like a firm mattress, but I don't like it so hard that I feel like I'm sleeping on the floor. But I right. do like a firm mattress. And I, um, I think it was Ashley who said it. Um, so if I sink into it, I'm not going to be able to get out of it. I'm not that mobile now anymore where I can get out of something mm -hmm. like that. So I think I, what hand am I doing now? So the thumb has to be over here. Okay. Um, so let's flip this around. Uh, so I like a firm mattress, but I wouldn't even know where to begin to tell you where to, you know, go with what you have now and then just decide. Um, I don't know. Oh, Joanne, just go um, get a four-inch uh, mattress topper and put it on your on your bed and see if you like it. It's, it they're not that expensive. Or get a two-inch one, put it on top of the mattress, your existing mattress. See if you like it. And because I think it's like under $100 for that. You don't have to worry about setting. If you don't like it, then just give it to somebody else. But um, Or use it for the couch or something. <laughs> Cut it down. But yeah, just go get a mattress topper instead of buying one of those 180 day things. Cause you may not like that. Well, they said she can return it, but you yeah. know, you know, what scares me, Joanne, you know, what scares me about that? And this is, I could be a real, like, you know, whatever, but if other people have been on your mattress and returned it, I, I don't know. I have the, I know when you're going into a hotel, or motel that you're sleeping on a mattress that a thousand people have slept on. But I think it's um, my mother who is no longer, you know, with the bed bugs. She used to freak me out. That and my mother-in-law, both of them, are, you know, probably up there laughing their butts off about freaking me out about bed bugs. But if, <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, if you buy a mattress from a place that lets you return, like you want to be able to return it. I don't know. I don't know. I might be, whatever. I'm sure Joanne, you've got to figure it out correctly. Yeah. I'm sure she does. It's just, um, channeling yeah. my mother. As my sister would say, I'm channeling Ida. Ma, leave me alone. Go bother somebody else. Coronadia. Go. I don't know. I, I, I've had, you know, the other thing is I've had my mattress for so long. Now I've had my mattress for over 25 years. I think I should change it, but I, it's like, I don't really feel like spending the money on a mattress. And if I ever move, I don't have to take the mattress with me, you know? Right. How are we on? Yeah. We're not liking these. Come on. Yeah, that's well, Joanne. You haven't had my mother and my mother in law, <laughs> and they're not here anymore. <laughs> but oh my goodness, well, my, my mom was sort of a little bit of a germaphobe. Oh gosh, oh gosh, what she used to make us do, she wouldn't allow us to wear our uh, our we couldn't sit on our beds with our pants on if we were outside. She didn't like us sitting on our, you know, um. When we went, if we went onto the subways, everything had to like come off, uh, whatever. I mean, ger you know, being a germaphobe is okay, but there is a limit. Yeah. I'm sort of, you know, honestly, I'm sort of glad she's gone because if she had to live nowadays with what's been going on, oh my oh goodness. My gracious. goodness. We would have, we would have, um, so, you know, sort of glad she didn't have to go through all of this. But my Aunt Mary is still alive, and she's in a nursing home in Brooklyn. And they were finally, my um, cousin and his wife put up pictures, and they were finally able to go see her. That's nice. So that's nice. That's nice, because everybody, I guess she was vaccinated, and he was vaccinated. So they finally went to see my Aunt Mary, and we saw pictures of her. So that was really very, very nice.
Take a sleeping bag when you stay in a hotel. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't, I'm not going. I don't go in it. You know, you're right, Sandy. I don't go in, but I'm not going any place. And I think they could even get into the sleeping bag and then you take them home in the sleeping bag. So I don't know. I don't know much about them. All I do know is that my parent, you know, the, uh, the moms and the mom in law used to freak out about that. Nope. I don't like this finger. Have a little trouble with the fingers. This one's too big. They're not going to see them anyways. No, they might see the fingers. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're not going to get a microscope out and look and see. Well, you know, I have to be happy with the fingers. <laughs> <laughs> you would go crazy with my fingers because my I have one look on my what is it, on my left hand. My little finger is shorter than the one on my right hand. Oh, goodness. Yep. Okay. Well, wait. I stayed in the worst hotel in New York. You were up here, Ish. I was so afraid. I went to Walmart and bought a king-size blanket and used it like a sing sleeping, bag, uh, sleeping bag. Wow. I did not. I did, it did not look like the pictures they posted online. The hotel, you mean? I didn't know you were here, Ish. Were you in Manhattan? Oh, yeah. Well, I know. I hear you, Sandy. That's true. A few years ago. Were you in the city, Ashley? Or were you in, like, other places? There's other things. I know. Hotel mattresses have a lot. As long as there's sheets, there's lots of sheets. We'll just go with that. I mean, I haven't gone anywhere in such a long time. Last time I think I was anywhere was when I went to Colorado with Megan. That's how long ago was that? Three years ago? This summer? Three or four years ago? It's been a long time since I've been anywhere. My sister said she might be coming for July 4th, you know, her, um, hmm. but, but unfortunately, her husband's dad just passed. So I don't know if they can still do that. But I haven't seen my sister in three years, so it would be nice oh. to see her. We always have fun when she comes. Lots of laughs. You, you were in New York, New York. So that means you were in Manhattan, New York. I think is what you're thinking, saying. The city. Maybe, T, I'm not sure. You know, she says she's coming and then she doesn't come. And, and so I'm really hoping she does come, you know. But, um, yeah, shopping. They go, the two... <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna let you two go shopping. My sister loves to shop. And because she is not in New York a lot, we always have to go to Macy's and Bloomies, Bloomingdale's, the ones in the city. But um yeah. Yeah, I would yeah, I'd like to see, but William's dad passed. So I don't know. He just passed. So over the weekend. Okay. You know, I was envisioning this with like really long, tiny nails, you know, because he's got to have really like clory looking things. And right now they just look, we're just going to have to leave them for a little bit so that it hard, the um, clay hardens up because the clay does soften up while you're working with it and the heat of your hands softens it. So if you leave it, like if I wanted to work on this more, um, I'm going to futz with it a little bit. But if I really wanted to work on this more, I could put it in the refrigerator to firm it up. But if I leave it overnight, it'll firm up by itself because of the heat of my hands 
are, even though my hands aren't that warm, if you constantly touch it, um, it just makes it softer. You want to come too? Me too. <laughs> Everybody, New <laughs> road trip, New York time. Oh gosh. Jack wants to go to Illinois. That's not near me. <laughs> I don't know. He can go to Illinois. I'll come to New York. Okay. That sounds good. All right. I'm going to take a break, guys. I think I'm done trying. I got to let it rest. Um, and I think it'll fit. Let's see. Yeah, he'll fit. Look. That's good. There's room. There's plenty of room. And their heads are always bigger than their bodies when they're babies. So that'll fit nice in there. And then I am going to take off his ears. Well, maybe I'll do that because that's not as stressful as fingers. Cora's a fun shopper. Yeah, Cora, Cora likes to shop. Oh, gosh. My sister. She used, to, she used to say, I'll give you a dollar if you'll come with me. This was like years <laughs> ago. As you can, as you probably guessed, I don't like shopping. Oh, what? Who am I making this year for? Hold on a sec. What the heck did you just do? I want to go back and see the Statue of Liberty from a boat. I didn't get to last time. Okay. I think you're allowed on the island now, too. I'm not sure. I've been, I've seen the statue. I didn't go into the Statue of Liberty because I think they were doing construction on it at the time. But I've, I've yeah, I've seen the statue. My kids haven't been to, no, wait a minute. One of them did. We went to Ellis Island with one of them, was, which was where everybody came in when the um, big. I'd like to see that. I'd love that. Yeah. It's such a history, but. Yeah, we, we saw that. And I forgot, I think it was with Eddie. Megan, I don't think, went to see it. So she would like to go see that. It's funny, you know, because I live in New York. These places that everybody wants to go see, I, you know, it's I guess it's with everybody. I don't know. They're not that, in, like, important for me to go see because I've been here all my life. So I've seen the Statue of Liberty. You know, it's it's like, but you got to realize that these are places that, you know, are important. I don't know if everybody feels that way about, you know, places where they live. That we would be like, ooh, we'd love to see it, you know? I live, I've lived four hours from Niagara Falls my entire life, and I've never been there. See? Yeah. Less than four hours. Stephen wants to go, too. Okay. We can go see the Statue of Liberty. Maybe we can do it over the summer. We'll see. I Yeah, I've never been to Niagara Falls. And I mean, well, it's not that close to me. Um, let's see some other places I haven't been. I don't even know anymore. I've been to the top of the Empire State Building. I've been there. Um, I don't even know. There's like parks. I've been to Central Park. I've been to all that Radio City Music Hall, you know, uh, Times Square, Rockefeller Center, all of those big places that tourists come to see when they come to New York. Okay, let's take a look. Okay. Like people say, our mountains are beautiful, and I don't pay them. Yeah, I know, right, Ash? That's the way I am about going to the Kentucky Derby. Yeah, Joanne, I can understand that. It's sort of like it, it's happening, you know. But those are the places that when you live in them, live near them, you don't go near them because of all the people. Yeah. You just stay home. It's like my husband used to, my husband and his mom used to like to go to Atlantic City all the time. And I was never at Atlantic City. And finally, I decided, well, maybe I should just go one time. I went one time 
And I, you know, I saw it. I won't go again. When I went to visit my sister the last time we went, I've never been to Vegas. So I saw Vegas and that's fine. I saw it. That's it. You know, I don't have to go there again. The only place that I would love to go that I have visited again, I, we, I don't know. I fell in love with San Francisco. I, I don't know why of all places I fell in love with San Francisco. I love Denver but I will never go to live in Denver simply because the winters are bad. And I never thought I would like Denver. It was like not one of the cities, not even one of the top 10 that I would like to go see. But when I went to Denver with Megs, I fell in love with that little city. It's so like it's new and upcoming and I really loved it. But the place that I would only like to go back to is Muir Woods. That's M-U-I-R if I'm saying it right. It's a redwood forest in San Francisco, mm -hmm. by San Francisco. That's some place that I absolutely adored, absolutely adored. And we were on a, we went with, um, cause my sister didn't feel comfortable driving cause she met us up in San Francisco when we went, um, because there's a lot of curvy roads to get there. And, um, so we went on using, what do you call it, tour guide. And we only had like 45 minutes. I was like, what the hell is it? 45 minutes? That, that, you know, that's not enough time. But we were only allowed 45 minutes there. And it's like, I wanted to go to the gift shop. I wanted to go, you know, but it's not enough time to see that place because it's absolutely the most w different place I've ever been. It's so it's the air has like a different quality to it. You know, um, it was just really, really nice. One of the places that we went to a few years ago was Memphis. Uh huh. Oh my gosh, I just fell in love with Memphis. Teresa's been to Memphis. Hold on. Uh, my people say our mountains are beautiful. Has anyone heard from Nikki, the Kentucky Derby? Nikki's doing better. I love Tybee Island in Savannah, 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 Georgia. I would like to go see. But T, yeah. T, you've been to Memphis, right? I think Teresa's been to Memphis, I think a couple of times, haven't you? And um, Nikki, I've never been to Ormond Beach. I think Nikki is feeling better. Whoever asked about Nikki, and hopefully she'll be coming back soon. She's been, you know, a little, a uh, little, she's been sick, but she's coming back. No, Nashville. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. What did you say? I said Memphis. Memphis. Okay. Teresa said I love that. Memphis. Teresa, have you been to Memphis at all? Isn't that, are they near each other? No, they're across state. Chad Nashville's you? on the east side and Memphis is almost in, um, Arkansas. Oh, okay. Like, right next to Mississippi. Okay. No, Teresa hasn't been there. And now we're at Chattanooga. Okay. Have you ever been to Chat? Sandy says Chattanooga. I've never been any of these places. Mm -mm. We went just to go Beale Street because Jack likes the blues and stuff. And uh, it was, we just loved it. We were, camping right on the Mississippi and Tom Sawyer's campground. Oh, wow. I and mean, it was, it was so much fun. I mean, we left Russell, Jack took Russell to Graceland that day. And then he came home and we went out that night and they just closed down Main Street in Nashville and Beale Street. And it's so much fun. So Nashville or wait a minute. You just said Nashville. Was it Nashville Street that they closed down? Beale Street. Oh. In, oh. in Memphis. Okay. All right. Now he's got pink ears, which is what I want. Good night, Martha. Have a good evening. I'm going to get going pretty soon anyway. It's 824. So I'm pretty much done sculpting. I'm going to put a little pink nose on him, but I'm going to do that after he bakes. Okay, let's switch. I was going to ask about the nose. 
Yeah, I'm going to do that after it bakes. It's easier if it does it after it bakes. I got to I got to mess with these hands. These hands are going to bother me, but see, I, you got to put it down, June. You should make it so the fingers curl over the blanket. Yeah, I know. That's what that's what I was trying to do something with the fingers, so I might have to mm -hmm. redo the fingers all again. Oh, his little taily got dirty. Okay, so let me just stop this because I'll I'll keep futzing and I don't want to futz anymore. Right. So stop futzing. Always keep your polymer clay and I keep it in plastic bags or the original wrapper. I try to wrap the original wrapper and keep it in plastic bags so it doesn't get dirty. There we go. We're cleaning up. I told you about this. I told you about that. Okay, let me switch. Oh, wait a minute. Let me pull my hair down. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. <It's> a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Cedra. You in oh your interim reports. Ugh. Thank you, Shirley. Okay, wait. That's good. I talked to Nikki on Sunday and she sounded much better. Excellent. Excellent. Let me I'm gonna That's switch great. the camera around for a little bit. Um, let me go. Which one am I doing? Oh, is that the one? Okay, let's pull this up. Okay. Oh gosh. Ah. <laughs> Hi. Get the hat. <laughs> Get the hat. We need the hat. <laughs> oh, watch the. Don't laugh too much. You'll show the hole in your mouth. Okay. <laughs> so, do you want? Are you on? No. You. I. I still have your icon. Otherwise, they put you up. You want to. You want to go on? So we can you say. Hi to every, yeah, you. You can, but I'm not gonna. I don't know. I got my camera turned off. So. Oh, okay. All right. All right, let me get the chat up. Okay. You're welcome, Shirley. Good night, Vic. I'm so glad you came in. Love you too, T. Okay. Um, so Joanne, this was a little birthday celebration. I got a mousy little done. I hope you've had a wonderful day. Birthday, we're I know we're only drinking water or coffee, but that's better than anything else. So at least we're, we don't really need anything else to be a little whacked. So um, thank you, Christine, for coming in. Oh, no problem. If I could have just stayed in, that would have been better. What? I, I kept knocking myself out. <laughs> yeah, it's us. Just said it best. Oh, hi, Edwina. How are you? I'm so glad you're here. Hi, we're 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 leaving now anyway. Um so we well, got we got up to here. He got his little body sort of done. And I don't know if I'll come on to live to finish it, or maybe I'll try to do the blanket on live and then maybe I'll be motivated so I can finally turn into the mouse. But good night, well, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, uh, that's great, Joanne. I'm so glad. Okay. Um, I'm so glad that we saw Vic. Christine came in. All you ladies came in. And and we got to yell at Barbara. Uh, that was the best part right there. <laughs> she is going to kill me. She is going to kill me. Okay. Telly was here. I'm sorry, Telly. All you ladies that were here. Um, so... Hopefully, I'll come on again soon. Um, school is winding down. We have 23, no, wait, 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 24, 20, 22 days left. 22 days. We have them counted. Okay. So, good night, everybody. Thank you for coming, and I'll see you soon. Night, Christine. Good night, everybody. Good night, June. Night, night. Okay. I'm ending. <laughs>